Welcome back to Bruce's shop. Uh, this is uh, third in the series of uh, making an adapter to fit my geometric head to the tailstock. Now I've completed machining the internal bore, uh, the, the smaller bore that's going to go on the shank of the uh, geometrical uh, die head and I've completed machining also to final diameter the um, the one that fits onto the tailstock. I'm now about to prune it off. Uh, what I'll do is I'll cut in, in a, a depth, I'll change the tool, uh, yeah, give it a V, then change the tool back to the cutter and do the final cut, uh, trim that off, and then we're going to go into the next stage, which will be drilling, tapping, and uh, I'm giving consideration to putting in a, a keyway here and as well. Uh, once we get this cut off, then I'll, I can give a little bit more information on where we went. Now, we can't do this cutting uh, without having some of Mum's milk here. I do have, um, I do have the emulsive type uh, coolant in the, in the pump uh, and in the tank, but I prefer to uh, just one-off jobs when I need the coolant. All this machine has been done without coolant or, or uh, it is, uh, that, but um, uh, I'll explain a little bit of the problems we had, I had uh, during that process. And uh, unfortunately, I'm unable to make long lengths movies because uh, they just um, take too long to download with the facility that I have. So first, first off, first off, we'll cut the, we'll, we'll cut this off, and we'll go from there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to zero in um, so we've got the exact position of the um, of where we want the parting off tool to come back to. We'll just give it a quick uh, V trim. These multi-position heads are, are absolutely fantastic. Now I can come back onto zero, onto the DRO. No, I'm spot on there. Uh, lock her up, and we'll go for the, the cutoff. Cool it.
Now we'll have a look and see. how this fits together There's just a bit of cleaning up there. things are going by this a bit tight you have to polish this but we don't want it to score the, the barrel first. It'll only be the score marks. There we go. We'll oil this up afterwards and we'll get that going but that's what we want. quite neat. We get some oil on this. So there you have it. This is what we want. Um, now I'm going to drill a couple of holes and tap them and um, and then, uh, then make a couple of dimples in the head. And on this side here I'm going to look at cutting a a keyway that'll match the keyway down below here and uh, put a couple of screws in there as well and we'll we'll polish this this, this internal part up um, we, because we've um, because we've got a smaller bore and a larger bore we can't run the reamer through here I don't have a dead end reamer I only have the the long reamer um, so what I'll do is I'll put this back in the lathe and, and with a flap disc I'll just tickle this up a fraction just a, and a bit of lots of oil, liberal amounts of oil on here and we'll be away. So um, next stage is to take it over and cut a bit of a keyway and uh, do the drilling and tapping. So we'll be back on the next level.